Where are disciples of Jesus? We've established a couple weeks ago that you can find disciples of Jesus consistently sitting under biblical teaching. Now, where else can you find disciples of Jesus? You can find disciples of Jesus at church. (laughs) You can find disciples of Jesus at church church. Now, that's not rocket science, but I will tell you this. Um, in college, the cool thing to say amongst millennials um, a, a few years ago was, I love Jesus. I hate church. Or I love God. I hate his fan club. I like Christ. I love Christ. I hate Christians. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. If you believe that or if you've heard that, okay, if you hate church or you hate God's people, or you hate Christians, you probably wouldn't like Jesus very much at all. Okay, the people who love Jesus have their hearts, um, their hearts are starting to care for what he cares for. And what you find in Ephesians chapter 5 is that Christ loved the church enough to die for the church. And furthermore, in Colossians chapter 1, it tells us that Jesus is the head of the body of believers. Okay, the church is the body of Christ and Jesus is the head. Okay, so Jesus and the church are very much connected and disciples of Jesus Christ know that and disciples love being around other disciples in the assembly of believers. Disciples love being around one another. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25 say this, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near, not neglecting to meet together. So this passage is not talking about just going to a building once a week. This passage is not talking about just sitting in the back seat while your parents take you to this place called Cornerstone or take you to this place called River Point or take you to this place called Sheridan Creek. This passage is talking about belonging to a people belonging to a body of believers that is going to encouraging you is going to encourage you as the day draws near. Okay, we're called to belong to a group of people, not neglecting to meet together. Okay, we're called to keep meeting together, whether that's digitally or whether that's in person. We're called to keep meeting together. We've talked about this a, a, a lot, but in the early church, Acts chapter 2 verse 42 tells us, tells us this about the early church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. So they were devoted to teaching and to fellowship. They were devoted about that. They, were de- they had a devotion about community, okay? Disciples of Jesus Christ are meeting. They're meeting together. Again, whether that's digitally or whether that's in person, disciples of Jesus make it a priority to be invested in a community of other believers. There is no such thing as an orphan Christian out there by himself doing his own thing. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit brings to mind now, I think it's Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1, that the, the, he who um, isolates himself um, works against sound judgment. Okay, that, that's not a healthy thing to be a, a Christian all the way by yourself. Now, there are times in our lives where God will, would have us in a season where there aren't many Christians around us. But by and large, you and I are called to belong to a people. And disciples of Jesus Christ are meeting weekly. They're bearing one another's burdens. They're praying for one another. They are singing together. And they're making community a priority. So where else can you find disciples of Jesus? You can find disciples of Jesus at church. And friends, with that being said, I want to announce this right now. This is going to be our last video for a while. This is going to be our last video for the foreseeable future. Okay, we're going to move away from videos weekly and focus completely on our Bible studies. Our junior high Bible study that's here from 5.30 to 7 o'clock every Friday night and our Sunday night Bible study for our high schoolers that's here um, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We're going to focus completely. We're going to move away from videos and focus completely there um, for the future, probably for the rest of the semester. And we've enjoyed making these videos for you. I've enjoyed making these videos for you. But there's at least two reasons why we're going to uh, move away from video. Number one, uh, these videos were always temporary. 
Okay, we've always viewed these videos as temporary. The, the, the leadership always viewed these as a temporary response to an unprecedented event. Okay, a year ago, the world stopped, which is still one of the, probably the weirdest thing I've ever gone through um, in this planet is the world basically stopped. And as a staff, we figured, hey, even if the world stops, the gospel does not have to. So we kept teaching, we kept making these videos, and I think uh, it was March 22nd of last year, okay, uh, when, when I made the very first video. I think I was in my apartment, and I was making a video towards your parents talking about, I think, five tips to doing fam family devotions. And ever since then, ever since March 22nd of 2020, we've made dozens of videos. We have a, on YouTube right now, since then, we've, I think we've made um, a little bit under 13 hours 13 hours of content. It's about almost 800 minutes worth of content. And we've gotten 53 subscribers on YouTube, which is some of you that are watching this right now. We've gotten awesome followers on Instagram who follow what we do, okay, which has been exciting and good for my soul to see some of you again. But e either way, we've always seen making these teaching videos as temporary. Again, this was a temporary response to an unprecedented event. And we've been doing this faithfully for about a year. And after a year, I think it's time to focus here. The reason number two is this. So the reason number one is that we've always viewed this as temporary. Reason number two is this. Less students are watching these videos and more students are coming back. Less students are watching these teaching videos and more students are coming back to Cornerstone. That's a sign that things are trending in the right direction. In fact, this past Friday, we had our first event in over a year. Over a year and some change, we had our Good Friday outreach. Okay, and it went really well. I enjoyed the way things actually went and you could see with the attendance and what I'm hearing from other youth groups is that students are hungry for that community again. Students are hungry to be together again. People are hungry to be together again. And as vaccinations go up and hospitalizations trend downwards, you're going to see a lot of families come back to church after a year, which is a beautiful thing, okay? And we're seeing some of that happen with the youth um, as it is. And as a pastor, as a human being, I'm omni-nothing. I'm not omnipotent like our God. I'm not omniscient like our God. Okay, I'm, I'm omni-nothing. I only have a limited amount of leadership and only have a limited amount of energy. And I feel like after a year of faithfulness, and as I'm seeing the trend of more students come back, it's time for us to focus completely on our Bible studies. And, and furthermore, these videos aren't super easy to make. For starters, back before COVID, BC, before COVID, <laughs> all I had to do, all I had to do was write the... All I had to do was write the Bible study and then deliver the Bible study. But now, there's another level of meticulous study that I have to do. There's a little bit more pressure there because I know that this video is going on the internet. Okay, and on the internet, it's going to live forever. So there's a little bit more pressure as a teacher. And furthermore, which is, is fine, but furthermore, um, we have a whole setup going right now. And then after I make this video, after I'm speaking right now, I have to go into my office and I have to edit this video and make sure the sound is okay. I have to make sure, um, I have to embed the, the, the PowerPoint just so, like there, this is a production. It's a low budget production, but it is a production. And I think that energy and the leadership that's going to that could be much more effective going to our Friday nights and in our Sunday nights, okay? So we're gonna, um, as we're seeing less people watching videos and more people coming back to church, I think the responsible thing to do um, as a leader is to go ahead and transition our energy completely to the students that are coming um, here to Cornerstone. Now, this is not the end. We will still make videos here and there, um, but I wanna announce clearly that this right here, um, we will focus, um, we will, we're gonna move away from video, we're gonna focus solely on our Bible studies for now. If you've been watching these videos and not coming to Cornerstone, I just want to tell you, listen, first off, thank you. A gigantic thank you. Whether you're watching this on Instagram or you've been watching this on YouTube, I want to give you a resounding thank you for being patient with us as, as 
the quality has been up and down and some weeks we miss and I just want to give you a gigantic thank you. But I also want to go ahead and invite you back to church. I respect, respect, respect your decision to stay home. What a weird moment we're living in, in our culture, in our country. It's a very bizarre, I, I, I respect your decision to stay home this time, but I also want to go ahead and encourage you that, hey, listen, it is safe and good for your soul to come on back. It's safe and good for your soul to come on back. If you need some more time, we respect that. Most of you out there have my phone number. You can call me and I can pray with you over the phone or I could um, bear your burdens in a different way or you can come and meet with me anytime weekly. I I am here in the office most of the week. If you need more time, that's okay. If you want to keep meeting digitally with our live stream for our Sunday mornings, that's 100% okay. We respect that. We honor that. But I also want to go ahead and invite you um, to come back and enjoy community. Where are disciples of Jesus? Disciples of Jesus can be found at church, gathering with the saints. Blessings.